Electronics defines the age we live in. Mobile devices, laptops, smartphones and smartwatches have enabled our fingertips to do things that would have been considered fiction, maybe even fantasy, just a couple of decades ago. Much of this has been enabled by semiconductor nanoelectronics. Even more powerful advances based on newer technologies are just around the corner. In realization and preparation, the Government of India, through the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, MITE, has launched the India Semiconductor Mission, or ISM, to indigenize semiconductor manufacturing and secure India's position in this crucial sector. In a far-sighted move, in anticipation of such requirements by the nation, MITE had nucleated the Centers for Excellence in Nanoelectronics in the IITs at Guwahati, Kharagpur, Delhi, Madras, Bombay and IISC in Bangalore starting 20 years ago. Spread over 60,000 square feet, these six centers are a strategic national resource built with the cumulative investment of a thousand crores. Powered by 200 faculty and 200 staff members, 700 PhD scholars and about 1,000 B.Tech and M.Tech students, these centers have catapulted India into one of the top three producers of knowledge and human resource in nanoscience and engineering. Through initiatives like the Indian Nano Electronics User Program, INUP, the centers have extended their capabilities to over a thousand institutes across the nation. By conducting classroom and hands-on training programs, INUP has skilled an additional 1,500 professionals and supported the completion of over 1,000 PhD theses over the last 10 years. These centers are now poised to support the nation in its quest for self-reliance in various nano-enabled deep tech sectors by performing cutting-edge science, developing technologies, filing patents, incubating startups and bridging the gap between academia, industry and the strategic sectors. For healthcare, mobile point-of-care devices by Patshod and Mobilab are being used to measure 9 to 30 markers of human health from a drop to a small volume of blood drawn. iMedTech and Innovodyne are commercializing IoT-based devices and pain-free drug delivery systems. An air quality monitoring system is being transferred to plant craft analytics. Thera Nautilus has raised funding for nano-robot-based medicine, showing it is no longer science fiction. Indigenous smart sensor technologies for measuring lung function and sleep patterns have been transferred to Senflex Private Limited. Bioengineered electronic bandages for fast wound healing using electrical stimulation. Wearable devices for muscle movement monitoring that can inform future robotic arms. Microfluidics, nanoporous membranes for hemodialysis and on-chip diagnostics, all of which are set to revolutionize healthcare. MEMS, micro-electromechanical system based sensors and microfluidic technologies of every kind are getting integrated with personal and industrial electronics. An explosives detector by NanoSniff has been deployed at airports. Pressure sensors for Cheetah and Chetak helicopters by I2N are in low volume production. Moisture and pesticide sensors by Soil Sense and Gunsutra for smart and efficient agriculture are being field tested. H2DC12 Avenue is developing portable green hydrogen generators. While fuel cell based power generation using nano catalysts has been transferred to Madnani distilleries. Gas sensors and gyroscopes have been qualified for the space sector. In the works are microfluidics for heat extraction in power electronics and superconducting quantum interference devices or SQUID for detecting extremely small magnetic fields. 
While most electronics has been based on silicon so far, silicon is reaching its limits. The silicon plus world will be enabled by heterogeneous technologies integrated in various ways. GAN for Power and RF Electronics has a large research base in four of the six institutes. While process technology developed at IIT Bombay is being transferred to the strategic sector for setting up an indigenous RF GAN fab to serve space missions and matter wave has been incubated. Agnet Semiconductors, an incubated company, is commercializing IISC's GAN, RF and power device technology for applications like radar systems and electric vehicles produced in India's low volume production foundry, Geeky. The field of neuromorphic computing which mimics the brain's structure for energy efficient logic and memory is gaining momentum. Indigenous chips for artificial intelligence hardware have already demonstrated the ability to consume 200 times less energy than existing solutions. Numelo Tech is commercializing memory technologies and spiking neural networks that leverage quantum tunneling for ultra-low power edge applications. Electrons are fast but photons are faster. Indeed, photonic integrated circuits are being developed for a wide range of applications from 5G and 6G systems to non-invasive diagnostics, chemical and biological sensing and quantum computing. Advanced packaging will be needed to combine these varied technologies to yield highly miniaturized systems heterogeneously integrated in three dimensions. Data analytics and AI will be essential tools to realize the full potential of these next generation systems. Starting from fundamental exploration in this nano domain, a variety of technologies have thus been developed, translated and commercialized. Technologies that have been developed at the six centers for excellence in electronics. The world is going to change even faster and these nano centers are here to ensure that India will be able to keep pace.